let's learn what are shapes once again okay let's revise what are shapes so shapes or 2d shapes they are nothing but flat plane figures or a shape that has two dimensions length and width okay 2d shapes are nothing but they are plane figures now we learned so many plane shapes we saw what's a triangle, we saw a rectangle, we saw a square, then we saw a circle. And we studied some few extra shapes also last time, correct? So now what we'll do, one by one we'll see. A circle. A circle has, a circle is round, correct? A circle is round in shape and it has no sides and no corners. Then we saw various examples of circle. So a wheel is a circle the moon is an example for a circle then sun then coins correct and then various other things which are round in shape are all circular okay then we saw triangle so a triangle has three sides and three corners correct we saw that a triangle has three sides and three corners so we saw examples of triangles so shapes then traffic signs then watermelon then pizza these are all triangular in shape okay then we saw a square so what is a square a square has four sides the correct and all are the same all the sides in the square are same so it also has four corners and we also saw that all sides in a square are of equal length okay so this is a example of square that is a this is a chessboard then this is a wooden frame okay this is also square in shape then we saw a rectangle what is a rectangle a rectangle also has four sides and four corners and but in a rectangle there are two long sides and two short sides okay in a rectangle we have two long sides and two short sides both the long sides are same length and both the short sides are of the same length okay so this is a rectangle so what was the examples for rectangle we saw that a blackboard is an example of a rectangle then a door is an example of a rectangle okay so these are the four main shapes then we saw uh, two other shapes also one was a pentagon a pentagon has five sides and we saw what's a hexagon a hexagon has six sides okay so these are various shapes then now what we are going to do is we are going to study patterns based on shapes so what are shape patterns they occur with a group of shapes uh, occur when a group of shapes are repeated over and over again now for example there are a few shapes given to you there's a square a rectangle and a triangle and then again after a triangle a square repeats then a rectangle is there there's another triangle okay so the sh uh, shapes are repeating again and again so when the shapes repeat again and again then a pattern is formed okay so these patterns follow a certain sequence or order of shapes that is then repeated at least two times the shape should be repeated at least two times to make it a pattern okay so uh, shapes can be simple shapes like circles squares or any other objects such as arrows flowers moons and stars so pa in a pattern it's not necessary that plain shapes only uh, be used like circles or square but other objects such as arrows flowers moons all those can be used to form a pattern okay so these are a few examples of patterns now here see we have a green circle then we have a blue triangle then after the blue triangle we again have a green circle then a blue triangle again and then we have a green circle again again a blue triangle then we have a green circle again so this is a pattern one green circle one blue circle and the pattern continues so here after this green circle we will have a blue triangle okay so to continue that we'll draw a blue triangle then again we'll draw a green circle then here in the next one these are some 
emojis so if you see this one first one it is a laughing emoji and this is just a normal smiling one here in the first one the eyes of the smiley are closed and in the second one they are open correct so see they are repeated first one two one two like that correct now after this emoji here we'll have this laughing emoji again okay so here this is another pattern now here you see we have a triangle we have an inverted triangle then we have a uh, hexagon again we have a hexagon so after every triangle there are two hexagons correct so now here we have a triangle then we have one more shape here that is a hexagon now after this hexagon there will be one more hexagon and after that you will have a triangle so when the shapes are repeated over and over again in a given sequence then it is called a pattern now let us see a few examples on shape patterns so here they have told us to complete each pattern so how will you all complete this pattern now so here first we have a green color triangle correct then we have an orange circle then again green triangle then circle then triangle circle and triangle now what will come after this triangle after this triangle we have a circle correct so in here we'll draw a orange circle i don't have orange color so i am making it red okay so this will be a orange circle again okay so this is how you continue now here we have a heart shape then square correct and then heart again and square again and so on now here heart is there what comes after a heart after the heart we have a square blue square so we'll draw a blue square here like this so now after this blue square there will be another red heart okay so this is how you complete this pattern okay so this is how you complete the pattern now see here we have a hexagon we have an oval shape then we have hexagon again then we have oval hexagon oval then hexagon what comes after the hexagon then we'll have an oval again so which color is the oval we have a pink oval so we'll draw a pink oval shape here like this okay so now this will be the pink color oval shape all right okay so this is how you form a pattern now same way here now here they till now they had used only two shapes now here they're using three shapes there's a square there's a star then this is a kite like shape then again there's a square star then the kite shape then square uh, then star so what will come after the star will have a kite shape or the diamond shape that is there okay so we'll have the diamond shape like this right so this is how you do it then next one we have a circle a square a triangle then again a circle a square and a triangle then here again we have circle square and then after the square what is there we'll have a triangle again correct so we'll draw a triangle like this okay so the pattern continues so on now here let's see what is it we have a pentagon a heart and a star then again we have a pentagon a heart star then again pentagon heart and after that what we'll get we'll get a star correct so we have a star like this okay we'll have a star okay so this is how you do shapes and shape patterns okay let's see a few more 
examples now here you see we have a red circle and a yellow circle then again red and yellow then again red so what will come after the red circle we will have a yellow circle so after this red we have a yellow circle here okay then after yellow we will have red so after yellow we will have red again then after red what will come after red we'll have yellow again so here we'll have yellow and then after yellow again we'll have red correct so the pattern continues like this then again after red circle we'll have an yellow circle okay now we have a green square then we have a purple square then green purple and then green so what will come after green after green you will have purple correct so we'll draw purple here again okay so that will be the purple square then this will also be purple in color and the other two will be green color squares right so this will be green and this also will be green so we have green square purple square green square purple square so that is one pattern now next we have two blue triangles and then two orange triangles then again what will have after orange triangles they have given one blue triangle so after one blue triangle there will be another blue triangle so this will also be blue okay so two blue triangles two orange triangles so instead of orange i am using red here so this will be red now after red again we have two blue but they have not given us two triangles there is only one so we'll color one blue triangle okay all right the same way the last one also now we have diamond shape again here blue diamond two blues and two reds then again we'll have two blues and then two reds and blue right so this will be blue two blues two reds and two blues again all right so uh, i hope you'll have understood what are patterns okay now let's see a few questions in your textbook so page number 100 in your textbook patterns look at the patterns fill in the boxes following the same pattern okay so what is the first one we have a square all are green correct so we have a square then a circle then a square circle square and circle so what will come after the circle we will have a square after the circle so draw a square nicely with a uh, scale and then color it green okay the color red green so now we drew a circle after circle what will have after sorry square after square will have a circle like this correct so this will be a circle then here we have two uh one then two then this is one two one two so after two what will have will have one again so this will be like this okay i'll redraw it again uh, sorry for that it got erased we'll do it again so this is a square and this is a circle correct then after that we'll do the next one so one okay then after one we have two like this here
okay so two all right next one now we have something like an l here right then this is an uh, inverted l or a reverse l so l and again reverse so like this now here what shape will come will have a l okay so you can use a purple color and do it it isn't purple so you can use purple like this here okay so this will be like this and the next one will be like this okay then we have uh, this sign here so it is straight then this is opposite of it then straight and opposite straight and opposite now what will be next one we will have a straight uh, straight one next so it will be like this correct and this will be opposite of that okay so this is how you do patterns so what i want you to do is i want you to do these last four for homework okay La do the last four for homework now we'll do the next one fill in the uh, fill in the pattern in the mix missing boxes so here we have a circle red circle yellow red yellow so what will come after red sorry after yellow after yellow we will have red correct we'll have red here then yellow red again after red you'll have yellow so the missing here are first one is red and the second one is yellow then here we have a up arrow mark then down arrow mark then after the down arrow mark we will have what now we will have an up arrow mark again okay we will use an up arrow mark like this so it will be like this then down then up down again so after down you will have up and then we will have down correct the last one so here you can do this for homework so one triangle then two triangles then one triangle then here what will be there here you will have two triangles then one two after two what you have you have one triangle so complete this one for your homework okay so this was all about shapes and patterns now what we'll do is we'll do a quick a few questions from what we have already done just as a revision all right okay so here they have told match the following shapes with their names okay so let's see what are the shapes and what are their names all right okay so what is the first shape over here in row a what is this it's round so what is round a circle is round where is circle circle is here so c i r c l e circle correct so we match it like this then what is the next shape here here we have a three uh, this shape has three sides what shape has three sides it's a triangle so what's the spelling for triangle it is t r i a n g l e correct so triangle is here so we'll match this like this then we have what is this shape its two sides are long and two sides are short so it is a rectangle so we'll join where's the name for rectangle it is r e c t a n g l e so this is a rectangle then what is the last uh, shape it is a square all the sides are same so square is s q u a r e square okay so like this okay so uh, this is we sh match the shapes with their names now collect the correct choose the correct shape of objects from the list so what is the shape here the button is in which shape it is circle so we'll select circle now this which is this shape all the sides are same so it is a square then this no parking sign which shape it is it is a triangle then this frame which shape does this frame look like it's two sides are long and two sides are short so it is a rectangle then what is this shape now this shape looks like a square correct so it is a square so this is a chess board it's a square then what is this the, it's a book what shape is a book it is a 
rectangle so all right so these are different shapes now rearrange the letter in words to obtain names of shapes and fill in the boxes correctly here are different shapes we have to uh, rearrange the letters okay these letters are all jumbled up so we have to rearrange the letters to make the name of a shape okay so what is the first one now if you see it looks like a rectangle so r e c t a n g l e rectangle then here what will be this become when you uh, unjumble it it will become a square s q u a r e square okay then this what is this one this is a circle so c i r c l e circle and the last one is a triangle so t r i a n g l e triangle okay so this was all about shapes and patterns in the next class we'll start with the next chapter all right thank you students i'll see you all in the next class again